Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Philips 5.6 inch LCD photo frame. It's model number 6FF3FPW and a big thank you to MyMemory.com for sending me this photo frame to review. Now before I kick off the review I'll quickly mention that this is being recorded with the Sanyo Zacti VPC SH1. Now on with the review, so this is the main product box and I will now reveal behind it we have got the photo frame. Now also in the box you do get a little micro SD uh, USB converter and I'll tell you why you get that in a short while and you also get some instructions and a digital user manual on CD. So now let's take a look at this tiny little photo frame up a little bit closer for you. So this is the Philips photo frame up a little bit closer for you. It's actually 5.6 inch diagonal frame and the resolution is 320 by 234. Now if I just take you for a look on the side of the frame, this is the USB port. This is why they supply this little micro SD adapter. You can put a micro SD card in here and then pop it into the USB socket here. Or you can use a normal USB flash memory stick and it just allows you to copy photos onto the frame or onto the other media that you're using. Let's take a look around the back. Now, as you can see, I've already got the frame plugged into the mains. It's not battery operated at all, so it does need to be plugged in. And they supply a three pin UK power adapter with the product. Here is the little kickstand. This is what allows you to uh, balance it upright on the desk. Now you can unscrew this and remove it completely. I'm going to do that for this review, just makes it a little bit easier for me to show you around the frame. Now, underneath here, this is the memory card slot. Now, at the moment, I've got an SD memory card in there. Now, it will accept a memory stick, multimedia, MMC+, Plus, a secure digital, which is what I've got in here at the moment, SDHC, and also XD cards. Now, the only other thing on the back of the frame is this control mechanism. We've got a power on off button. We've also got a menu button here. We've got a play mode button, play and navigation operations on, on this little sort of four way control. It's quite difficult to navigate around, but once you've got used to it, very, very simple indeed. Now, if I go back round to the front, at the moment we're in playback mode, and this will play back at a predetermined uh, sort of pause time between photos. We've also got clock mode switched on, which means the current time displays on each photo. You can turn this off in the menu so it won't display this particular uh, graphic in the corner. Now, on the back at the moment, I'm going to push this middle button, which is the play pause button. And if I click it once, it goes into sort of a calendar mode. And this displays uh, the photos on the SD card, also the current time, the alarm time, and the date that the calendar is set to. If I click it again, it goes into play mode, so it's now playing back with those transitions between each photo. If I let it go on to the next one, so you can see the transition. And if I want to display a photo permanently, I just click that central button again, and it will actually pause it. So it's now paused on that photo, so it won't change until I click the play button again. So you can cycle around these modes quite easily. Transitions are nice. If I just let this go into play mode again. There we go. So now it's playing back the photos again. Now the bottom button here, this is the uh, menu button. I'm going to actually click this one next. So let's click the menu button. And this allows you to select some various options. I can copy the current photo to another memory card, either to the internal memory on the frame, or if I've got a USB stick in the side, it will allow me to copy it to that. I can delete it, add photo effects, frames, rotate, zoom and crop, the sequence of the photos playing, and the frequency. Let's click that same button again, and it takes me back to playing the photos. Now, if I rotate the frame, it does actually have an auto-rotate feature, so it will display it in portrait mode or in landscape mode. So it's nice that a photo frame of this particular price point will rotate the photos depending on the orientation of the frame. 
it's not that quick to react but it certainly does uh, remember the orientation and for something so cheap I was really surprised that it actually does that now I'm going to just show you what this button at the top does so let's push that one and this takes you into the photo source menu and if I click that same button again it takes me into the photo frame setup and from here I can choose uh, with that four way control to actually set up the frame for the first time go into the clock settings which includes setting an alarm because this photo frame does have an alarm function as well or going into the photo settings if I click the middle button now it takes me to my photo source selection and here I can either choose the memory card I've got plugged in or the actual photo frames internal memory now all of the other uh, ones are actually greyed out because I haven't got anything plugged in so it only gives you access to the photo source or the memory uh, source that you've actually got plugged into the frame at the time so very good that it doesn't confuse you by giving you empty memory banks so let's come out of that menu and out again and we're back into playback of the photos I think this is pretty good we've got full control over brightness language settings uh, it rotates automatically as well so that is absolutely fantastic shame it doesn't work on batteries because you do have to have a wire running down from it and the only other negative I suppose I could pick up on is there's no way of actually mounting this on a wall so it has to stand on a desk that said this is available for around about the £20 mark now prices do change on the My Memory website but at the moment just over £20 delivered for this 5.6 inch photo frame makes an absolutely superb present uh, I can't really fault it for the price but I would like to say thank you very much for My Memory sending this through uh, you can check out this and a lot of other gadgets um, and electronic and computer related accessories at mymemory.com in the meantime please do keep checking back on the Geek and Noise channel for more video reviews this video review is sponsored by Crucial the memory experts they provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.